long road trip that you, you went on, you're real real thin and you know, really scraping for energy. What do you learn from the last road trip? You've got another one coming up here that's arguably longer during that swing in Texas. Just what were some of the lessons you take from that going into this one trying to maintain that energy? Well, those two games in Florida are one possession games coming down the stretch. So, I mean, we just got to find a way to grid out one more possession, maybe the first play of the game. That might be the decider in that game. But uh, we just got to, I mean, stay together for 40 minutes down there on the road. We're not going to have any fans, I don't think. But, uh, I mean, we got to go get these two. Cam, how much do you think that, that six man helps in that situation that he was sort of talking about now that you're kind of back and in golf for that? Well, I think it just allows guys to, uh, you know, have more energy their entire time they're out there on the floor. You know, it's hard to play 40 minutes of college basketball. It's basketball at a high level, and uh, to to have to sustain that amount of energy for 40 minutes is tough. Uh, so I feel like I, you know, I'm giving us some relief, and then kind of no drop off uh, when I'm out there. So, um, you know, I think it's just better for for the end. Is that a different goal mindset for you, just being able to offer that? Like, now I'm the, the relief guy, and there's no drop off. And for a while, you were the starter and, and leaned on in a different kind of, kind of way part of the year. I mean, to me, there's no difference. Uh, the only thing I'm worrying about is when in every single game we step out on the floor. Uh, you know, whether I'm playing 35 minutes or 20 minutes, I'm doing what I got to do. And, uh, you know, right now it's, you know, I'm still trying to get back in the rhythm, back in shape. Uh, so, I mean, there, there's more aspects to it, but I'm not worried about my role. I know what I got to do, uh, and I know what I got to do for this team. Jared, UTEP has got Bryson Wynn, the 6 8 4 guy down there. He's one of the top scorers in the conference. You were at FIU, they had a big that was really able to get in there. They had a point guard that was passing a lot, just doing different things with big guys. What's your experience? been with teams and having to defend whether it's a four that's doing a lot of scoring and got another six <clears throat> guy in there just facing bigs like that have been able to be mm -hmm. athletic and score inside. I mean, it's definitely an adjustment for me. I mean, being a perimeter my whole life and now uh, the last few years is playing a four. Uh, Got to stay out of foul trouble. Try not to foul those guys front them in the post. Just try to make it hard for them. I know I'm undersized, but I mean, I'm just going to give it my all, really. Jared, and then Jackson at UTSA, he's second leading scorer in the nation. Just how do you guys really kind of focus in on trying to slow him down or just not let him in? He can, you know, he can pop off and put 45 up. How do you guys just keep him from not getting too out of hand? I mean, he's going to make tough shots. He's going to score a lot of points. I mean, you just got to limit it, uh, try to limit his touches. If he makes a contested shot, we just got to live with it. I mean, he's going to shoot it 20, 30 times a game. He's going to make shots. So we just got to uh, do a team a team job on him and just kind of limit what he gets. You guys, um, with, uh, with a short bench, it seems like these Saturday games are a lot tougher. Um, obviously, we're playing on Thursday night. Um, when you're going into those Saturday games, after already playing you know, less than 48 hours before, what's going through your mind as far as trying to conserve energy on Friday and prepare yourself all day on Friday for those Saturday games? I think it's just about rest, uh, you know, taking accountability of yourself and uh, your teammates. Uh, you know, after that Thursday game, wake up Friday, make sure you keep your legs up. Um, and then Saturday, you know, you can't you can't try to hold back. Uh, if you hold back, that's what uh, puts you in a certain scenario. Uh, you got to be able to go out there and give it all for 40 minutes.